All right, Matt, thanks for that live report. And to stay up to date on this summer scorcher, including the latest forecast, download our free streaming news app or log on to westernmassnews.com. Getting answers true crime, a cold case that's weighed heavily on the Western Mass community for decades has been closed. And today, the family had a moment of solace. Danny Croto, who was murdered in the 1970s as a 13-year-old boy, was laid to rest again this afternoon. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo is live in Springfield with more on the reason why. Audrey. Danny Croto's family today heard a service that was different from the one they heard back in the 1970s different because it was delivered by a priest who wasn't accused by law enforcement of killing their loved one. The next story I want to tell you is how clever he was. 13 year old Danny Croto eulogized and remembered for a second time. We will be reunited in the spirit with the loves of our life. Western Mass News following all the developments since the boy was murdered nearly 50 years ago. And just last month, law enforcement saying the man who led Danny's first funeral was also the man who took the young altar boy's life. Former priest Richard Levine, who was later defrocked after a child sex abuse conviction. Presiding over Monday's ceremony at Hillcrest Park Cemetery, James Scahill, the priest who put pressure on the Springfield Catholic Diocese to defrock Levine in the early 2000s. With our minds made clearer, our hearts less burdened. We commend Danny to the eternal God. Levine died last month, just before the Hamden District Attorney could arrest him. But for those who spent decades waiting for justice to be served, the ceremony on Monday righted a wrong and gave peace to Danny's family. Smaller now in person, but full in spirit. And with him, his mother, Bernice, Bunny, father Carl and his brothers Gregory and Michael. Amen. 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 Now coming up on Western Mass News at 6, we'll hear from Danny Croto's brother on the significance of this day. Live in Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.